I'm here to talk about credit cards, my top five picks for 2019. Now, I'm a huge credit card nerd, and for good reason. My wife and I haven't paid for airfare or hotels in over three years just because we've used the right credit cards and gotten the right bonuses as well. Credit cards can be a great way to earn free cash and travel and a host of other benefits like lounge access, cell phone insurance, trip delay insurance, roadside assistance, all for spending money you ordinarily would have spent. Now that being said, the best way to stay broke is to carry a balance on your credit card. You never want to pay interest, otherwise it's not really free. So that being said, let's jump right into it in the top five picks that I have for credit cards in 2019. Number five, the PenFed Pathfinder Rewards credit card. This card is great because it has no annual fee and you get two major benefits as a result of being in this card holder. The first benefit is that you get your TSA PreCheck global entry covered for free. That's a $100 value and this card, again, has no annual fee so it really is $100 pure value to you as soon as you get the card. Number two, and this is my favorite reason I love this card, you also get $100 per year in airline incidental fees covered. That's baggage checks, lounge access, things like that. Now that's $200 you get for free. And if you were to try to replicate that with another credit card, you'd have to spend about $13,000 if you're getting the standard 1.5% cash back. That's a phenomenal value with this card that you just get just for getting the credit card with no annual fee at all. You also get 25,000 bonus points after you open the card and spend $2,500 in the first three months. That can be used for anything from airfare to hotels to simple gift cards. It's a great value because again, there's no annual fee on this card. Now the rewards rate is pretty decent, but you're better off spending your normal spend on other cards and saving this one for your airline incidentals and TSA pre-check. The one downside about this card is that you need to be a member of the Penn Fed Credit Union in order to apply. You usually can do this by being a government employee, a military employee, a family member of one of those, or you can join a nonprofit organization like Voices for America's Troops and sign up for the card after you become a member there. Overall, it's a great card and one that you should have in your wallet and hold forever because there's no annual fee and you get that $100 every single year of airline incidentals. Number four is the Uber credit card. This is a great card that didn't get a lot of attention but really should have. It also has no annual fee, but you earn 4% back on dining, 3% back on travel, 2% back on online purchases, and 1% back on everything else. You also get other things like a $50 per year in streaming credit after you spend $5,000 in every account year. I think this is a great card for most people because it has no annual fee, and you get high rewards on dining and travel and online purchases, which I know personally is where the bulk of my discretionary spending goes. It's simple and effective cash back. If you don't want an annual fee and you don't want to worry about accumulating points and spending them on travel, you just want cash back, the Uber credit card is the right one for you. Number three, the Amex Platinum credit card. This card is legendary in its own right and for good reason. It has a very high $550 annual fee, but it comes with incredible benefits unlike any other credit card out there. Now the coolest thing about this card by far is the Centurion Lounge Access. These lounges are incredible amenities and they come for free with membership in this card. You can find these Centurion Lounges all over the United States including in major cities like Dallas and New York and San Francisco and they're coming to other cities as well like Los Angeles. The Centurion Lounge is great because everything inside is free when you're a member of the Amex Platinum credit card. You get free drinks, free meals, free massages and showers, and you get to relax in a nice idyllic setting before your flight. This card also comes with $200 a year in air flight incidentals, just like the PenFed card, and it also comes with $200 per year in Uber credits so you could take advantage of. Other benefits include the TSA PreCheck Global Entry coverage, and smaller things like $100 per year in credit towards a Saks Fifth Avenue purchase and other smaller things like that. The rewards rate on this card is very good. You get five times rewards on air flights and hotels when you book through the Amex portal or directly with the airline. The sign up bonus is also one of the reasons this card is phenomenal. You can get between 60,000 or 100,000 bonus points just for having the minimum spend on this card as soon as you sign up. This can be a great way to jumpstart your travel and get a lot of free travel right away. This coming year, there's also going to be an additional amenity to this card and it'll allow cardholders to access WeWork as a basic membership for an entire year for free. If you travel a lot, the Amex Platinum is perfect for you. Number two, 
the Chase Freedom Credit Card. This is a standard card and really, really popular among a lot of people and for good reason. This card has no annual fee, but you get 5% cash back on rotating categories every three months. This card is great. It's simple and effective, and the categories are categories you actually would already be spending money in. For me personally, I use it a lot. The categories are often gas, restaurants, warehouse stores like Costco. It can really come in handy to use this card in your normal everyday spend. You also get $150 just for signing up for this card and spending $500 in the first three months. It can be a great way to introduce yourself into the credit card world if you're not normally familiar with getting these kind of credit cards. Perhaps the best benefit of this card is the fact that the rewards you earn are called ultimate reward points, which, as I will share with my number one credit card, can be combined to get incredible travel benefits. And number one, my favorite credit card is the Chase Sapphire Reserve. It is a great all-around credit card that can really be used to give you extra travel benefits. This card allows you to earn 3% back on all travel and dining that you spend, plus $300 per year in travel credits that you can use on anything from Airbnb to Uber to flights to anything you want that's related to travel. You get other things like travel delay insurance, Priority Pass Lounge Access, which is a huge network of lounges throughout all the United States and the world that you can access for free, and a host of other benefits as well. But the best part of this card is that you have access to the exclusive Chase Sapphire Reserve portal. Through that portal, which is powered by Expedia, you can book any flight or any hotel with your Ultimate Rewards points and get a 50% bonus on anything that you book. This means that if you have 100,000 points to spend, they're really worth 150,000 points when you book through the portal, which can be $1,500 of value. This portal is how my wife and I haven't spent money on travel in the last three years. We earn our points primarily through our Chase branded cards, and we combine them all whenever we want to go on a trip, and we use it through the portal. Now, this being said, this credit card does come with a $450 annual fee, but I found it to be well worth it because the net fee, after taking into consideration the $300 travel credit, is $150. My wife and I spend enough on travel and dining in order to make this card worth it because when we book through the portal, we get an extra boost of 50% on our points. However, if you don't want to spend $450 on an annual fee, there's a great second option. It's called the Chase Sapphire Preferred and it's very similar to the Chase Sapphire Reserved credit card. The Chase Sapphire Preferred gives you two times on all travel and dining, and you also get to book through the Chase portal, but only at a 25% bonus. That being said, your annual fee is only $0 on your first year and then 95 after that. For most people who don't spend a lot on travel and dining, but still want the benefits like the Chase Sapphire Reserve, the Chase Sapphire Preferred can be a great option for them. Now, both the Chase Sapphire Reserve and the Chase Sapphire Preferred come with 50,000 bonus points that you get after you spend $4,000 in your first three months of owning the card. Through the Chase Sapphire Reserve portal, this can be worth $750 of free travel right out the gate. And that's it. Those are my top five credit cards for 2019. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Thank you.